What were some of the coolest climate tech stories from the past year? Well, it's hard to keep track, even for me, but here are three of my favorite innovations that made headlines in 2022 for their potential to help tackle the climate crisis. Number one is fusion energy. Get this, scientists just recreated the power of the sun inside a lab. Sounds extremely sci-fi, right? Well, this means we could eventually have a new, abundant source of clean power, ideally helping us fully transition out of using fossil fuels and even nuclear power that produce greenhouse gases and waste material. Now, the experiment is not new. It's been something scientists have been trying to crack since the 1950s, but they had a breakthrough in December 2022, being the first time they were able to produce more energy than what a fusion reaction requires. So how does a fusion reaction work? Well, it gets very technical. But scientists blasted a tiny pellet of hydrogen plasma with 192 lasers, basically replicating what the sun does by combining hydrogen atoms with helium to produce light and heat. The scientific community is ecstatic for this milestone, but it's still just an experiment and not energy we could actually use at home. So until then, we're gonna keep taps on this. Number two, ocean cleanup. You've most likely heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's the largest cluster of ocean plastic in the world located between Hawaii and California. But what you might not have heard is the large amounts of trash that have been removed this year. The Ocean Cleanup is a nonprofit that's sole mission is to clean up the ocean and try to recycle the plastic they extract from it. In fall 2022, they completed their system 002 run, which removed more than 100 kilograms of plastic from the ocean. For context, that's about two and a half Boeing 737 planes. Now all this plastic not only affects wildlife, but it affects us. We are starting to find microplastics in everything, including our bodies. All the plastic breaks down, the fish eat it, we eat the fish, and then the plastics get stuck inside us. But how does the removal process work? Well, through U-shaped barriers attached to boats, basically acting as underwater nets. The ocean cleanup collects as much as possible, then brings it back to shore, where they sort it out and recycle the plastic into value and durable products like sunglasses. The Ocean Cleanup is getting ready to transition into System 03 in 2023, which is estimated to capture plastic 10 times faster than the previous system. Number three, lab-grown meat. Lab-grown meat is also not new, but this November, the FDA said it's safe to eat, meaning we could start seeing it at restaurants and grocery stores very soon. I myself have tried lab-grown meat in Egypt by a company that offers it in Singapore and is getting ready to offer it here in the United States. It was a fun experience where I got to try three cultivated chicken dishes prepared by professional chefs. Obviously the food was good, but as a climate solution, this is exciting. Livestock farming is one of the biggest emitters of greenhouse gases. It accounts for 16.5 to 28% of all greenhouse gas pollution. Because of that percentage being so high, lab-grown meat has gained a lot of popularity. You see, lab-grown meat is produced by taking a cell of an animal and cultivating it in a bioreactor until it grows enough to be formed into cuts of meat. So it requires less resources like water and animals don't have to die for it ultimately reducing the amount of greenhouse gases associated with producing meat. Now there's so much tech out there making a positive impact on the environment. And some of it we've covered on our show, Can It Save the Planet? But I wanna know what caught your eye and what you think is cool. 